Hey everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. So two women have come forward to allege that they attended parties at a home in Orlando, Florida, as well as at various hotels where they would do drugs and have sex with Republican officials, including Matt Gates. So these two women say that they would then be sent payments via digital apps and CNN claims to have reviewed receipts from 2018 and 2019 showing that Gates and his indicted buddy, Joel Greenberg, sent hundreds of dollars to one of the women who attended these parties. One of these women told reporters that she received money from Greenberg after attending the parties, but she refused to name the person or people with whom she had had sex. The women also say that when they would enter the hotel room or the house, wherever this party was being held, they were asked to put their cell phones away, which is not usually a good sign, and that it was a veritable who's who of Republican officials at these parties. They said that they would often be dressed up as if they had just come from some official event. Many of them were in black tie or in suits or what have you. And they claim that everybody would mingle and share drugs, including cocaine and ecstasy, and some of them had sex. So I guess these would be parties for the party of family values, <laughs> is what you would call them. I, I don't know. Uh, seriously? <laughs> so one of the women described Gates as, quote, a frat type of party boy. Sounds about right. That is the energy he puts off. And she said that she would sometimes see him take pills, which she believed to be drugs, but can't confirm that. The funniest thing is that these women say they came forward because the picture that's being painted of Gates with underage women is inaccurate in their opinion. They say they've never seen any underage females at the party. Okay, so first of all, how would they know? <laughs> Many girls look older than they are. And second, did they think that this story was going to help Gates or any other Republicans who were there? Paying people for sex is still a crime, 18 and older or, or not. And attending drug-fueled, alcohol-fueled sex parties isn't really a good look for the so-called party of morality and old-fashioned values. I mean, I guess, <laughs> I guess when Republicans say old-fashioned values, maybe they're referring to their support of the days of old and the oldest profession in the world. <laughs> I don't know. Just a guess. <laughs> oh, Maddie G. Maddie G. That's my new name for Matt Gates. Maddie G, you're so loathsome. <laughs> no, he doesn't get a nickname. He doesn't deserve one. All right, guys. So I'll keep you posted. But yeah, if these women were trying to help, I think that all of these Republican men are probably saying, don't help us. <laughs> Just don't try to help us anymore. We don't need your help. Thank you. Just don't talk to reporters. They did also say, these two women did also say that they have not spoken to the authorities. I, they didn't elaborate. So I don't know if that's because the authorities weren't aware of them or if they just don't need them. If I hear any more, I will let you know. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.